Ahoy, ye mateys! Stephanie here on my Buccaneer. So I'm going to enter the ranked queue right now, and I'm going to bet that in the time it takes me to make this video, I am not going to get a match. Which kind of shows the sad state this game is in. And my rank isn't that high, it's Hero 241. Just for your reference, to get to the highest rank, which is champion, you need 400 rank, and you get approximately 10 rank, give or take, per win. So that's why a lot of people boost, because there just aren't enough people who continue ranking past 200 or so per season. And it's a real shame that the player base is so small, because the gameplay is just so good. It's so unique, like, just the fact that, you know, you have all these different uh, companions and you can build them a variety of ways. And like how they all have unique abilities that interact with the battle board, you know, it... This game is very unique. So I was talking to an IRL friend the other day about Pirate 101 and I realized why exactly this game doesn't have like the millions of players that it really should have. The first problem is that it's not being marketed correctly, and I'll get to that in a second. The second problem is that after you somehow hear about this game, you have to go through at least about 80 hours of questing before you can unlock all the different companions and learn about all of their different abilities and you know how, how all of this plays out on the battle board. And you don't even get exposure to that many different maps. So you get bored with the free trial and then you just don't continue because you never get to experience the combat, like just within the first few hours of playing. So if this game is going to become popular, the first thing that needs to happen is that PvE needs to be completely separated from PvP. So. I don't know if any of you guys remember Age of Empires, but that series was a huge commercial success. And what I remember about it is that when you try the game for the first time, there's a combat tutorial that explains all the different mechanics and all the different units, and then you have choices. So after you learn the mechanics, you can try what's called a skirmish, which would be a battle against the AI immediately. You can also choose to do what's called a campaign, which is a series of quests with a story. Then you can also do multiplayer and play against other people. So within just like one to two hours of just trying the game, you can get a sense of all the different combat mechanics, and then you can choose whether you want to continue and buy into the game or not. So what this game really needs to be marketed as is that people need to know this is a strategy game. Um, it has a very unique combat system with a chessboard layout and it has a variety of units that you can build in different ways. Some are melee units, some are ranged units, some are specialty units. So in the combat tutorial, I think that, you know, people should have access to like four or five different units and then they should already have like five or six different epics already like for people to just mess around with and you should be able to just have access to all of this stuff immediately in the tutorial so you don't have to quest for hours just to recruit the different companions and start really playing around with them and then maybe there can be special quests that you um, choose to buy and then like more companions that you can buy basically but then just to get people into the game they should have access to five or six different companions for free they should have access to like a level 70 version of all of these guys for free and be able to experience the combat and then they can choose whether or not they want to buy the campaigns or the quests. So these are just a few of the thoughts that I have. Um, I will try and continue you know with explaining the combat and 
because there's a lot to learn and the combat in this game is really really interesting but for now I just kind of wanted to ramble about <laughs> what's been on my mind because I wasn't able to attract my friends to this game like my IRL friends they are very avid gamers um, they play a lot of different kinds of strategy games and like when I explained how this game works, it sounded really interesting to them but then like people just aren't willing to put in the hours and hours of questing or pay that much money just to try out this game so yeah, um, feel free to comment below with your thoughts on what you think this game needs in order to reach a bigger audience and thank you for watching, leave a like and I will see you in the next video